everybody, and welcome back to The Poor Man's Chemist. This is going to be a very quick little video where I am... I, I'm concerned. I have not been able to find any reference to that addition compound of thorium anywhere outside of that one mention and a, a single sentence on atomistry. I can't find a reference anywhere to a tricesium heptachlorothorium 4. I, I can't find anything. And that makes me concerned. I mean, that makes me wonder... I mean, yeah, we got a really distinct color change there, but what the hell is that exactly? I mean, I, I don't know what that is. So, I'm doing a follow-up experiment here where I've taken 0 0.54 grams of thorium hydroxide and I've neutralized it in concentrated hydrobromic acid. I have added three molar equivalents of ammonium bromide, and I am evaporating it down now over low heat. We can see it's it's already off color, but that's I think from bromine, because um, when I tried neutralizing thorium hydroxide directly with hydrobromic acid, even though it was azotropic hydrobromic acid and was crystal clear, it immediately reduced some of the bromide down to bromine. So, um. Once I diluted it down, I didn't really have too much of a problem with that, but I think that's what that might be. But anyway, I'm going to just kind of let this evaporate down, just like I did for the other one, and I am going to see what I get. Fingers crossed that we get a distinctly colored solid. If it wasn't the same butterish yellow color, that would be great. But, I don't know. But we'll, we'll see what we get. Okay, everyone, this is really fascinating. The story just gets more and more interesting. This is the compound here. It's evaporating down, and I'm getting a slightly orangish, reddish solid off of this. I mean, you can see it forming as the liquid evaporates. This looks like an addition compound of thorium. It is even red like I thought it would be. This is not bromine in solution. It's, it can't be. It, it's solidifying. <laughs> I'm going to take it off the heat here. And I'm just going to see what this does. Just leave it here for a little bit and maybe the hydrate will solidify. But, I, I mean, I can't, I don't know what else to think. This looks for all the world like an addition compound of ammonium bromide and thorium bromide. It's even starting to crystallize as it's cooling off, so obviously it's some kind of hydrate. Okay, y'all are not going to believe this shit. Look at this. It did it. It, it. it looks for all the world like it formed an addition compound with ammonium bromide. Take it off the heat here, because those hydrobromic acid fumes really are something else. <laughs> Look at that! Look at that shit! That is fucking cool! Wow, I really didn't think this was actually going to work out that well. But it's behaving just like tellurium. I mean, it's in the same oxidation state as tellurium. It's in the plus four oxidation state. I mean, granted, it's thorium is extremely different from tellurium. I'm not saying that they, they should resemble each other really at all. But, I mean, you do see some commonalities in compounds that either share the same oxidation number or that are isoelectronic with one another. You know, I mean, look at how barium precipitates out sulfate, but also manganate and plenty of other oxoanions that end with eight. <laughs> I mean, maybe, maybe, I don't know. I would really love some feedback. Can an expert in actinide chemistry please watch this shit and tell me what the hell is happening here? Is this really triammonium heptabromothorium 4? Am I even on the right track with that shit? Or have I created something different? 
I don't know. I would love to know. I really would. But it worked, y'all. I mean, look, that is a, a red compound. That is not like thorium bromide. That is not like ammonium bromide. And there's no bromine in that, man. I would, I would know. Trust me. I, I don't know, y'all. You tell me what you think in the comments. Let me know what you think. I would really love to know what the hell is happening here. And if I'm even close to right. Anyway, if you like that, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down, subscribe, share. You guys know the drill by now. And I will see you guys in the next video, which I promise will be longer.